Hello friends, you are MS Balaji again. Today we are going to talk about uh, the second tip for us to save money. And uh, you know, obviously our first tip is uh, write down your expenses in a piece of pen and paper, right? And you know, everyone's way of life, everyone's view towards life is different. Uh, you know, there's no <laughs> one rule that applies for uh, uh, every one of them, right? Uh, we talked about it in detail in the previous video and uh, the second tip we talked about is look at your mobile bill explore the opportunity of mint mobile like a mobile and um, you know if you are looking for a branded one try with this xfinity mobile you know and the google voicemail uh, google phone is also an option you know uh, search through internet you will find it and today as a third tip we want to talk about uh, insurance okay me basically worked on the it side on the financial industry insurance pensions annuity and banking for quite a lot of years so one mistake that i feel that people do is duplicate insurance okay so if you take what you know it might look like a very simple topic but watch closely on uh, you know how much of premium you are paying for insurance how much of premium you are paying for insurance so, you know car insurance uh, okay and life insurance uh, and the health insurance uh, and you know home insurance if someone owns a home um, you know home insurance uh, you know try to understand what each coverage means uh, you know spend a day in your month uh, to always revise your estimate to share my experience uh, you know it's super crazy when i came to us fast uh, and I got my SSN and then, um, you know, I, I've traveled in multiple countries, right? I was in UK, Australia, Sweden, Netherlands, also, you know, a lot of places. But this is, you know, this is the first time we need to really have a car because in US, you know how it is. In other places, we can live without car. Our public transport is pretty good. You know, we are really comfortable life without car. We don't have to compromise on anything, especially in the e-commerce world. But in US, if you have a car, you know, means a lot to have insurance right it's must state minimum is um, a liability and if you go with uh, any finance for your car which most of us do you know the bank may sometimes mandate a minimum thousand dollar deductible okay but what are the insurances you have how much coverages you have you know and especially with pandemic you know uh, you drive very less then do you really need that much of coverage think about yourself and home insurance uh, what is the cost of rebuilding for the home or you are covering for the market value of the home okay those are two different things and what if a tree in your place fall on others house that's liability insurance you know this and the premium that you pay for it and how much is your deductible and what is the history of um, it still doesn't cover most of them doesn't cover flood you know uh, insurances okay uh, so you have to really estimate what your insurance is and depends on the health condition of your family you know the medical insurance you know the premium that you pay for whether for your family you really need a high deductible insurance or a low deductible insurance or you prefer not to have an insurance or some of them have high deductible insurance for two years uh, and save it in hsa and then not to have one insurance uh, insurance and it depends on each family right uh, so i don't know it depends on each state the law could differ and um, you know one of my friends used to say that uh, you know uh, I, I argue with him the importance of having insurance but he proved me in another theory that uh, you know <laughs> his dad never had insurance when he lived his life which is not the same here you know sometimes some of them might say hey, it's no way practical right but if you think closely People save a lot in the insurance even if you are having some injury right uh, or you want to do some dental work you know you go to a foreign country and get it done and then come back you know you will you will be end up in paying much less than what you pay here with the same amount of benefits that uh, and the quality of service uh, you know this is another way of looking at it uh, and you know there is people a lot of time don't think about it and and they will create fear in our mind you know in my example <laughs> i used to pay when i came i was very honest to the insurance agent saying i don't know anything about it 
and this is the first time I have a car in a foreign country. So um, can you please help me? I was very honest. I think I made a mistake there by being too honest, you know. And he charged me a premium of $200 a month. And after thoroughly, I know it was rubbish. Trust me, I did that for one year. And I think almost for two years I did that. I need to check that. And you know, and then I spoke and then bought it to a different company for 100 and then now I pay like $35, $40 with my all state insurance now. You know, for my place where I live, seems like I tried with all Geico and I tried with State Farm, I tried with the AAA. And for my situation, it may not be same for everybody, but all state worked well for me, you know. Uh, just my experience, look at your insurances, how much of insurances you are paying. But people pay all these insurances. The funny part is they don't have a term insurance. <laughs> look at my other video to understand what term insurance means. And uh, every insurance has basic premium on the term insurance cover. And then everything that is built on top of it is different. So there's always a base. Everybody shares the risk. Insurance is about sharing risk, not greedy. It's for the need. Okay. Think about all the insurances and consolidate it and see how much you can save on that. That is my tip for today on insurances. Okay. Thank you. Have a good day. As usual, our motto is not to make a million life happy. If you could make a difference in one life, that's good. Bye for now. You are MS Balaji.